Hey everybody, today is still on today's date. Today is July 12, 2020, and I want to share a dream that I had. So, um, in this dream, I was with my cousin, and he was just basically telling me uh, what kind of friends that he that he wants to be friend to what kind of friends he wants to be friends with. And he was telling me, oh yes, I'm going to be friends with anybody. It doesn't matter if they're a sinner or not. I'm going to be friends with everyone. And I was telling him that you shouldn't do that if you are a Christian. Because um, I told him in the dream, because um, I once had a friend, no, I do have a friend who is a strong Christian. And when he went to college, he was, um, he had a roommate who was not a Christian. And um, they were friends they were friends, so they were hanging out together every day, and that really corrupted his, his Christian faith, and he wasn't as strong as, as, as he was before. And um, um, so I will show you some some scriptures that backs up what I'm saying, that, um, that shows if you are a Christian, we shouldn't be friends with people who are sinners or of the world. Um, in 1 Peter... No, sorry, not first Peter. Peter, um, Peter one one. It says, "Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful." So we're not supposed to sit with, with sinners. So less than all. So we can't even be friends with them as well. Jesus had twelve disciples, and they were all and they were all Christians. He didn't have one that were. Not that that wasn't a, that was not a Christian. I'm not saying that we can be um, that we can't be be nice to people who are not Christians. Of course, we, we can be cordial to them. We can they can be our um, acquaintances, which is just a quick hi, bye, how are you, awesome, good, hi, you know, just a quick talk, and we can just we can talk to them. But that but we cannot call those people our friends. Um, Jesus had 12 disciples, yes, and they were his friends, but Jesus also talked to sinners. Jesus sat with sinners. Jesus, you know, preached to them about the gospel. They were, um, his acquaintances. Um, why is it always a fly? Gosh. So, um, yeah, even though we cannot um, be friends, we cannot be friends with the, with, uh, with the sinners because in first Corinthians, first Corinthians, 1533 says, be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. So, so people with bad communication, but if, if you, if people around you are, are, are cussing and you call them your friends and they're doing drugs and they always go and they're always going to um, wild parties that corrupts good character. That will corrupt your, your good character. You know, we shouldn't be friends of people of the world because they corrupt our character. And, um, people would like to, people would like to say, oh, but it's good to be friends with bad people because our light can shine upon them and they can be influenced by our character. Don't be deceived by that lie. Okay. I've heard that in, in the, in the show Full House. Mm -hmm. If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The, the father was telling AJ, I think that was his name. Oh, DJ, that was her name that, oh, but my dad, Kimmy, she, but that, but that Kimmy, Kimmy is a bad, a bad influence in me. And he was like, but, but your character can, can, can change her. That's a lie. Don't believe anything Hollywood tells you. That's a lie. Don't do that. Do you see God befriending any sinners in the Bible because his character? No, no, no. Those sinners, they know what they're doing is wrong. And if they want to change, they can look at us and see, and see how we represent our lifestyle. And, and by the way we are, the way we look, the way we talk can change them. We don't have to be friends with them to, to allow them we, can, we cannot be friends with them so, so they can change. We can pray for them and we can show them an ex, in a, we can show them a Christ example of, of how a Christian should behave and talk and, you know, dress and, and, and look and be and being modest. So our our character uh, our character alone, the way we behave ourselves, can be a testimony towards towards sinners to to change. We cannot be friends with them. We can influence them by by the way we present our by the way we present ourselves. And um, also another good thing to to be friends with um with with other believers is that um you know like if you're 
um, just driving one day and you have a phone call by your friend and then the, um, your friend, your friend, um, tells you, Hey, Hey brother, Hey sister in Christ. I just wanted to, um, say that I've been praying for you. You were, you were in my prayers and you were like, Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for that. I didn't know that. Thank you. And that will inspire you. It's a lot in here. Oh Lord. And that will inspire you to, to pray more, more often, you know, or they can say, Hey, um, sister, do you want to go to, um, church today or do you want to evangelize and that can help you with your with your faith you know you know the scripture that says iron sharpens iron you know and that's that's how it that's how it is you don't want a a, a person who was a, who was a sinner to to scrape your iron you know you want to grow you too want to grow into into um perfection as to be like god so that is the end of my dream and um, if you guys have the time, please, um, if you guys have the time and the money, please feel free to donate to a friend that, that is living in Africa. He is, um, the Lord has called him to, to, um, bring in street children from, from the village and to take care of them. So it's one man and like 12 other children and they don't have a good sheltered home. They barely have any food. So if you guys um, have the time to just put in some money um, in the PayPal description that, that I will put down below, please feel free to do that because they need your, because they need your, your support. And you know what they say, it's better to give than to receive because Christ in heaven looks, uh, looks at, looks at what's at what we are doing okay so that's, that's the end of my dream and for the abc plan of salvation a admit that you were a sinner b believe that jesus christ died in the cross for your sin and c commit your life unto him so that the holy spirit may do well in your life okay have a blessed day bye